Okay, now real quickly, I want you to kind of take notes on the back. Five steps for praying effective. Uh, this is going to be in line, some of it, with uh, what is already in your manual, but I want you to get this from my heart. Uh, pray to your Heavenly Father. So this is who you pray to. And we're talking about your alone time in prayer. So pray to your Heavenly Father with the Holy Spirit's help in Jesus' name. So that's how you see the whole Godhead is, is, is in operation in your prayer time. You pray to your Heavenly Father, Father, I come to you, dear Heavenly Father. Father in heaven, I, you know, come to you. And you always pray with the Holy Spirit's help. Uh, the second thing you have to understand is that after you acknowledge that you're coming to the Father, the next thing you need to do is reverence, honor, and adore him. One of the uh, key prayers that Jesus prayed, he said, Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So the second thing we do in prayer is we reverence the Father. Father, I reverence you, I honor you, I adore you, I bless you. You are great and greatly to be praised. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Alpha and the Omega. We reverence him. Father, I stand in fear and awe of you. You're awesome. You're beautiful. You're wonder him. wonderful. So that's the second thing we want to learn how to do on a consistent basis in prayer. Uh, the third thing is you give thanks, praise him, and worship him. So the Bible lets us know that we are to enter into his courts with praise, with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. So during this time, we're giving thanks. Father, I thank you for uh, that this is the year of great uh, uh, uh great growth. I, I give you the glory, the honor that this is the year of explosive growth. And I just praise and I worship you. You alone are worthy. You alone are awesome. So in that time of prayer, that's when you're just praising the Lord. You're, you're, you're giving him thanks. Lord, I thank you for this awesome day that you have made. For this is the day of the Lord and I will rejoice and be glad in it. So that's the third thing you want to do on a regular basis. And then after you do those three things, then you want to make specific requests, clear cut, start with his will, kingdom and daily bread. So one of the things that we want to do on a regular basis is when before we make our request is make sure that we're asking God, Father, I pray today more than anything that your will be done. I pray today more than anything that your kingdom comes. We always want to pray, pray prayers in alignment with, with God's will, in alignment with his government, in alignment with what he has said and what he is saying. So it's a great thing for you to, um, in your prayer time to always go before the Lord seeking his will and asking for his will to be done in your life and then for his kingdom to come because when his kingdom comes, that means his function is coming into your environment, into your earth ramp. And when his kingdom comes, uh, uh, the Bible says the kingdom of God is the righteousness, the, the joy and the peace joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. So you're bringing the heavens into your environment. And then last but not least, when you're praying for your daily bread, what you're actually asking God for is daily encounter, daily wisdom, daily insight from him so that he can lead you and guide you. So when you're asking him for daily bread, you're actually, actually asking him to help you throughout that day to fulfill your purpose in that day. Every day that we wake up has a purpose. And it's up to us to really accomplish it through our prayer life. And finally, you believe that you receive by faith the prayer. You give thanks in Jesus' name. So after you ask for your request and whatever you're going to ask him for, after you ask him uh, for his will to be done, for his kingdom to come, and for his daily bread uh, in your life, the last and final thing you want to do is you want to say, I believe that I receive it by faith. And then you want to give him thanks for whatever you ask him for. Father, I thank you. Uh, for expanding our ministry, for causing every Sunday, every seat to be filled, for people to be crowded all around here in Jesus' mighty name. We believe that we receive it in Jesus' name. So this is uh, uh, five steps for us praying effectively. What we're going to do is real quickly, uh, we're going to do some examples so that I can kind of uh, uh, help you to understand this. And I'm going to have each of you, this is just a pilot test. You don't have to worry about getting it wrong or getting it right. But this is your alone time. I'm going to have each of you come up, but I'm going to do a quick example as I look up. So a quick example, me starting off, Father in heaven, I come before you today. This is step one. I come before you today thanking you for your grace, thanking you for your mercy. I'm already going into step two and step three. So <laughs> anytime I start praying, I really, I just yield. I, I'm, you know, and I encourage you, learn how to just yield. I, I really, even in my prayer time, like when I'm praying in English, I really don't try to think about it. I just flow. So if I just come up here and pray, it might not be exactly 
the way that I've outlined because sometimes I just flow into it. But I want to encourage you before you start flowing into it, try to get this pattern down. So let me just go through the pattern. So the first part, um, I'm coming before the Lord, Father in heaven, I'm coming before you today. I'm already got the help of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is in me. So I come before you today. Number two, Father, I want you to know that I reverence you, I honor you, I adore you. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. You are the Alpha and the Omega. I thank you for being in my life. Part three, I thank you. I praise you for covering me. I, I adore you today. I worship you today. You and you alone are awesome. Uh, so that's kind of part three. And then you make your request. Before I make my request, I'm saying, Father, I pray that your will be done. I pray that your kingdom come in my life. I pray, oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that uh, you give me today my daily bread so that I can be led by you, so that I can be guided by you. Do y'all see the flow that I'm kind of going? Uh, part four, I'm making my specific request. Father, I pray now for my mother. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would that you would touch her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, that you would heal her body. Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would give her direction. I pray, Lord, that you would promote her. I pray that finances will begin to multiply in her life. So I'm giving my specific request for my mother, and now I'm ending my prayer. Father, I thank you that it is already done. I believe by faith that you have already done it for my mother. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a done deal. So that's the kind of flow. If you miss out a step every now and again, that's okay, but you want to kind of posture yourself to go before your Lord, and first and foremost, to understand that we always pray to our Father. We pray to our Father with the help of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name.